So I just hopped off another amazing coaching call with the Women of Sacred Leader Academy, and there was a theme that's popping up that I wanted to chat with you today, and that is the importance of honoring your own value system and your freedom-based lifestyle goals. So I just hopped off another amazing coaching call with the Women of Sacred Leader Academy and there was a theme that's popping up that I wanted to chat with you today and that is the importance of honoring your own value system and your freedom-based lifestyle goals. This is why I build out my programs to allow for four-day weekends and I take the last week and a half month off to travel, to immerse myself in nature, or to uh, really focus on my own wellness and my own ascension journey. And this is a key part of receiving, opening up to receive, not only the divine guidance that's meant to come to you and through you, but also opening to receive the abundance and the clients and the money and the success and everything that you desire that you're worthy of. There's no accident that when I take this time off and I'm on vacation traveling, having fun, that I have sales immediately before I leave and then I come back immediately and have more sales as soon as I start taking calls again and that I'm perfectly matched up with clients that are in alignment. Why is that? It's not because I spent the last week and a half really pounding the pavement, hustling, trying to figure anything out. It's because I spent the last week and a half really recharging and really allowing myself to come into alignment with what I truly desire and be in the present moment and just allow myself to be in a state of gratitude and appreciation for life. And it's not like I'm taking vacations because I need to escape something because I don't need to escape from my life, my act, my calls with my clients. I actually, you know, really miss while I'm on vacation. I'm so excited to get back to them because it really lights me up. The work that I do really fulfills me on a deep soul level. And so that doesn't even feel like work. It's just that I honor what it is that I truly value, which is time to be just with me and connected to nature and connected to my inner being. And it's really easy sometimes to, um, especially if you're resonating as a spiritual teacher, healer, messenger, or coach to want to always be in that place of service and always helping people and always doing things. And that's fine because you, you do have that natural teacher, healer archetype within you and you're living in alignment with your purpose. But what I often see is that there's some unhealthy boundaries where we often can overgive or overextend ourselves or serve from an empty cup first. And what that does is it creates a lot of overwhelm and a lot of burnout. And I've seen it even create a lot of sickness and a lot of illness with a lot of healers. And so it's really, really important to build into your business your lifestyle goals. And if you're resonating with me, then that means you want the freedom to travel. You want flexibility. You want the time to be in nature. You want time to take your yoga class and do your meditation. You want time to where you don't have to necessarily be servicing anybody and you just, just get to connect with your own inner being and focus on yourself. Remember, part of your purpose is your own ascension journey and your own, you know, uh, healing journey, wherever you're at on your journey. And you have to honor that first and foremost. And as you do honor that, what magically happens is you become in perfect sync with what I call your outer purpose. So your inner purpose is always to you and your, old, your own soul ascension and your own journey. And as you honor that, you're always going to be coming into more and more higher alignment with your outer purpose. But if you don't honor your own inner sacred space uh, within your own life and within your own reality, um, holding that space for yourself, it's going to be impossible for you to hold that space for others without, without coming from an empty cup. And this is why I'm so passionate about the spiritual teachers, healers, and messengers that I'm helping, helping them to build a business that is completely scalable, that allows them to make a big impact on the front end of their business without 
increasing their hours and without increasing their time commitment and still having that freedom-based lifestyle on the back end so they can have the fun and the time and everything that is so precious in this lifetime to be able to enjoy for themselves, whether that's time traveling or time with family or however that resonates with you. And what I often see, because this is just part of what we've been programmed to believe up until now, and partly what you're here to help break into a new paradigm is up until now we've been really immersed in a masculine dominant society where you get a lot of credit and a lot of accolades and a lot of pats on the back for overdoing or for su succeeding or achieving and taking action on things and becoming very successful, right? And all of the ways that society would deem you to be successful, but oftentimes this leads to taking action for the sake of validation or approval, not because you're taking action from a soul inspired place. And so what happens is, is this is oftentimes leads to burnout and overwhelm. And then this over masculinated energy, what that does is it really drowns out um, the receptive feminine energy, the one that's here to open to receive the guidance and the wisdom and all of the abundance and the clients and everything that you're trying to hold space for. And so this over masculine dominant energy that's off that that's taking action from a fear based place is trying to fill a void. Like what happens if I don't do X, Y, or Z, then this is going to happen. So it's taking misaligned action, which then does not put you in a place of receptive mode. And so you got to be able to break that cycle. And part of breaking that cycle is to honor the feminine receptive energy within you. And this is part of the paradigm shift that's happening right now on a global scale is really stepping into and honoring this feminine energy. And this feminine energy exists within all of us, whether you're male or female, it's not gender specific, but this part of you that is open and receptive and allowing and not controlling, this part of you that's trying trusting and surrendering. You know, this is the part that when you can embrace this and nurture this feminine side of yourself, you're going to be able to open up and receive not only the intuitive guidance that's meant to come to you and through you. So you can really magnetize your message online and speak to the souls that you need to, that you're here to serve. Um, but also open to receive, expand your container to receive all of the, the physical, tangible 3D things that you're manifesting in this reality because you are this co-creator. That's part of why you're here. And so I just wanted to pop in here with this today because it's really, really important to honor this space. You did not leave your nine to five or your corporate position so you could uh, create another um, hustle and grind business for yourself. And it's imperative then to structure your business in a way that allows you to create the massive impact that you're feeling called to create, but also maintain your freedom-based lifestyle. Um, so you can indulge yourself in all of the things that you, uh, that bring you joy and that you're passionate about, right? This is part of how you support yourself in your mission work. It's not working from a place of depletion or taking action to overcompensate for what happens if you don't take the action, right? It's not from that place. This is how you support yourself is you show up for yourself. You create sacred space for yourself. You put yourself in a state of allowing and a state of receiving. Um, I love this little story. I was just recently talking to a woman inside Sacred Leader Academy, and we had a call previously um, a couple days ago. And immediately after our call, she decided to take the next day off and allow sacred space to allow whatever channeled wisdom, because she started getting op she started opening up from our conversation to lots of downloads. And she decided to honor that, create sacred space and allow that to come through her. And just in a matter of like 24 hours, she went from the state of confusion to coming into so much clarity where she said, you know, she had been spending weeks in confusion and now just within 24 hours, she comes into so much clarity. Why is that? Why is that? It's because she's nurturing this feminine receptive energy that is allowing and receiving and surrendering and trusting. She's not overly taking action, trying to figure it all out anymore. The next steps in her business, that over action taking, uh, that over, over, 
over action taking, yeah, um, was causing a lot of confusion because that was the misaligned masculine action, trying to figure stuff out because of fear of what happens if you don't, trying to fill the void. But when she surrendered and allowed herself to open up and take that sacred space, all of a sudden the clarity starts flowing, the intuitive downloads start flowing, the guidance starts to flow and the confusion dissipates. And so I could ramble on about this forever, but I just wanted to pop in here uh, with this because it's so important that you really honor uh, this feminine receptive side of you if you're growing a soul aligned business. And if you're a driven woman, and especially if you come from like a corporate or a nine to five background, which is very much a masculine dominant culture, um, but just in society in general, just as an entrepreneur in general, you know, there's a lot of masculine energy that is required to take action on your business. Um, but if you're taking action from a fear-based place, it's going to cause a cycle of confusion, overwhelm, and burnout. And so you have to be able to balance the yin and the yang. And so this is just something that I wanted to pop in here today with, and I hope this video resonates with you. If it does, please drop me a comment below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if it does resonate with you, then I welcome you to hop on the Soul Align Success Masterclass, which you can find below this video, wherever you're watching it. On that masterclass, if that resonates, you'll have an opportunity to book a 60-minute strategy call with me where I help you map out a blueprint for your business, a six-figure soul line blueprint for your business, and help you identify the gaps between where you're at and where you want to be. And yeah, you can use that blueprint on your own, or if it feels like a mutual fit, we can always chat about what it's like to work together. So you can find that link in my bio at Instagram at Spiritual CEO, or below this video, wherever you're watching it. And I look forward to tuning in with you to another episode very, very soon. Namaste.